Meanwhile, lockdown restrictions are intensifying across the world as countries strive to limit the casualties. Retired healthcare workers are returning to duty even as doctors are dying in the battle against coronavirus. But help is arriving from all quarters through global stimulus packages to superstars pledging personal wealth. This is the Gravitas Coronavirus Tracker. The World Health Organization has urged all countries to use what it calls a second window of opportunity to stop the spread of the coronavirus. This opportunity has been created by countries which have introduced severe lockdown measures. The World Health Organization says lockdowns buy time for health systems, but more precise measures are required to eradicate the virus completely. The pandemic has triggered an economic slump in Europe. The European Union may release emergency funds to support economies, nearly $40 billion to its 27 member states. From the first time ever, lawmakers will vote from remote locations. Over 3 million people in the United States have filed for unemployment benefits as businesses have shut down. This is the highest number of unemployment claims in American history. The data was released a day after the United States Senate and White House agreed on a $2 trillion stimulus package. Hospitals in London are experiencing a continuous tsunami of coronavirus patients. The influx is overwhelming the healthcare system in London. Hospitals have already increased their capacities by nearly seven times in the past couple of weeks. The UK government's call to retired doctors and nurses to return to service has got an overwhelming response. Half a million people have signed up as volunteers. The government was hoping to get only 250,000 people to sign up. In Italy, over 30 doctors who were treating coronavirus patients have succumbed to the disease themselves. Italy is the new epicenter of the virus with more than 70,000 cases and more than 7,000 deaths. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has declared the pandemic a national crisis. Japan saw its largest single-day spike in cases with 98 new cases and two deaths. But hundreds of people were out in Tokyo despite bans. Picnics continue for the traditional spring cherry blossom viewing. The risk level for COVID-19 in Wuhan has been downgraded from high to medium. The city is preparing to revive social activities. Residents have begun to take a stroll in parks. Public transport is back in service in Wuhan. In these difficult times, the Sikh community in New York has stepped up to help fellow residents. The Sikh Center of New York prepared and packaged more than 30,000 home-cooked meals for Americans in coronavirus self-isolation. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in New York State continues to grow quickly and has now crossed 30,000. Spain registered 655 deaths in the last 24 hours, taking the total death toll over 4,000. One of the country's most famous superstars, Rafael Nadal, has pledged 11 million euros in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic.